Hello everyone. This video is about Genesis GV80 Coupe concept first look. The Genesis brand has a deep connection with the New York Auto Show. Hyundai launched the very notion of the Genesis brand here in 2007 with the Hyundai concept Genesis, previewing the sedan that would eventually drop its Hyundai badge in favor of G80. In recent years, Genesis has unveiled stunning design direction concepts, such as 2018's Slinky 2 Tuosi Decentra concept and 2022's Force E Genesis X Speedium Coupe, and it has even explored vehicular white space with a peculiar, but pretty little to seat mint concept with its wacky butterfly cargo access doors in 2019. This year, however, Genesis is following its past production car previews like the New York Concept Sport Sedan in 2016 and the GV8 O Concept in 2017 with a taste of something similarly production ready, the GV80 Coupe Concept. Conceptually, this concept is a coupification of the four-door GV8 O SUV you can buy today, just like what BWM applies to the X5 in rendering an X6. Mercedes applies to the GLE SUV before marking up the price and selling it as a coupe, and Porsche does to its Cayenne SUV, functionally. It also gets five-spoke forged aluminum wheels and a carbon fiber roof that contributes to lowering the GV80 coupe concept's center of gravity. Improving the aerodynamics is an upper rear spoiler and spoiler lip on the elliptical concave ducktail to reduce lift at speed. Structural stiffness is improved, with a G-Matrix strut brace behind the bucket seats. We're eager to see if this cargo flexibility limiting feature makes production, as it's essentially a full-on roll cage, don't hold your breath for it. Other visual revisions include the magma exterior paint color, and a design by Genesis plaque to highlight the coupe's exclusive character. Inside there is a three-spoke steering wheel, black Napa and suede leather with plaid double stitching, orange piping, and carbon fiber weaves on the functional surfaces. Our first question regarding the G80 coupe was, what took you so long? The answer to that one was a generic corporate priorities pass. But when asked the follow-up question, do you anticipate eventually whacking the back off of all your SUVs? Group president and chief creative officer Luke Donkerwook replied that the other SUVs may already be sufficiently sporting as is and hence don't need any stylistic enhancement, adding. Over the past seven years, we have added more lifestyle-oriented models to the portfolio. Now we are pushing the envelope with more emotional cars that elevate Genesis performance and dynamic attributes. Normally, we'd call that hyperbole. But if you look at the smaller GV70 and newer gv 60 have both do already have rather fast rear glass, so there likely isn't a way to coupify either much more. Hanging the word concept on this GV80 coupe concept provides Genesis some cover for not divulging full specs, pricing, dimensions, or production timing. But this concept features no obvious features that would pose any challenge to production, so expect its rollout to be imminent. And we also fully expect Genesis to take a page from its German rivals and offer the coupe only with the highest performing powertrain, the 375 HP 3.5 liter twin turbo V6. How much can Genesis charge for the GV80 coupe? Well, figure on starting with a GV80 3.5T with the advanced package as the basis. Then assume the brand will add between 5 and 10% as BMW and Mercedes do for their coupes. That suggests a starting price in the $75,500, $79,000 range. When can we expect to see it? We reckon taming the interior and tooling the few new parts shouldn't take more than a year. And profits being what they are on these coupes, the quicker the GV80 coupe hits showrooms the easier it'll be to pay the bills for electrification. 